it has been a year and a half a year and a half and i haven't uploaded anything i've had no desire to do anything on social media and it has been an absolute wild year and a half i've been feeling god lately telling me to get back on here start sharing my story i watched through one of the darkest most desperate times of my life in 2022 and that's kind of when i stopped everything i just a lot of people got cut out of my life a lot of people left and a lot of people hurt me so you know who stayed though is jesus and he was the only thing that got me through that Step by step, he took my hand and he told me we're walking through the darkness together every single day, one step at a time, until we can see the light finally break through the cracks. And that was what I focused on. And it wasn't until this year, 2024, that I fully accepted where I'm at. I'm no longer an active duty sailor. I had a really hard time with identity and transitioning out of that, letting that piece of my life go. And I'm okay now, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with not being surrounded by that culture anymore. And there's so much more to life than making your identity the military. Like people that are stuck in the system, or I wouldn't even say stuck, but people that choose to stay for a long period of time, like most of their career life. They have a extremely challenging time transitioning out and finding that new purpose and new calling and, and connecting with different people. So I, I kind of understand the mental health piece as far as veterans go. It had me completely on a different thought process than the average person, and that's the truth. If you spend any moment in the military, around military people, submerged in that culture you're going to have a different way of thinking and it's true like i heard it put beautifully when you put some time into the military whether it be a year or 20 years once you get out you're never going to be a civilian again you're going to be a veteran and that says a lot because civilians they don't understand and nor should they understand what you've walked through what's really helped me like find my way through this whole transition is connecting with other vets and people that that get it they get where you are and there's a shedding of your skin shedding of your old skin that you go through and it's it, it's hard but it's worth it i'm thankful for you and i wanted to say thank you for the support throughout the years i see people still commenting my videos are still helping that says a lot and that was the reason I made this channel is because there weren't a lot of especially women that would talk about their experiences in. As you are sitting here on my surfboard, um, I found a lot of new life, a lot of new love, a lot of new passion for things outside of the military and I want to share that. I have gone on a solo trip to Portugal that was an absolute disaster debacle. I got COVID in the middle of the jungle. Um, I had a fever for five days and no medical care, which I will gladly share that story because that was wild. I went on a mission trip and met some of the most beautiful people of my entire life. I chopped my hair off, um, just really felt like I needed to get rid of the old. And I've met some life-changing people the past couple of months people in my church military group, people in my surf community. God has really blessed me. He's blessed me beyond beyond belief. And to think that I was in such a dark place that that truck almost hit me. And I wanted to drive my car and jump off the Coronado Bridge just a year or two years ago, a year and a half ago. And now I'm here, it's like, I guess my whole point to this message is if you're struggling, if you're thinking about suicide, if you are in a bad place, a dark place, reach out to somebody and know that you are just in a season that tomorrow will get better, that whenever tomorrow comes, um, 
the sun will always shine and I don't know I sound I don't know if I'm making any sense but I get it I get it when you just don't think that reprieve is ever gonna come your way but it does it does so please stay please reach out and although it may take a little while to see the light fight for yourself if anything fight for yourself to be here I think mental health is completely undermined in the military community and I've seen it and I've walked through it and we have way too many suicides in the military community and and, it's, and even when people get out too I mean you're super vulnerable to just dark thoughts so for the day if I can just shed some of God's love onto anyone that is willing to listen that's what I care about so let me take what I've walked through share it with you and hopefully help somebody i mean the mind is a scary place and when you're in a dark valley and you can't see the light or the mountaintop it's a scary place to be so i guess this became more like a mental health talk um i've actually been thinking about going back to school for psychology i don't know i'm currently in my master's for cybersecurity. It doesn't light my soul on fire so something that I need to pray on but but there are 4,000 of you here that do care and are following along so I just I'm coming on here to say I won't be doing much more military content um, as I am no longer in the military um, but I hope you'll stay and I hope you're you're willing to go on this journey with me of I don't know just life traveling and figuring things out as a 30 something year old getting out of the military you probably get out of the grocery store parking lot and go home but yeah just wanted to say hi and let me know what you guys have been up to um comment something comment hello say what's up i mean i definitely missed this aspect i missed this community so i'm here